Hi. So I made a space screen last year and it was probably one of the most fun, held back and involved projects I've worked on to date. From a fan animation of Clank to meeting one of the biggest prodigies who have ever stood up against Hans Zimmer himself, this is why and how I made my space video. This is where it all started, on the surface of Planet Velden. Let's take a moment and appreciate Clank. What you see here was my first swing at making a coherent and good looking animation, all in real time. The reason for that was I had a Pentium powered machine with a GTX 1050 at the time, and it was a potato. Most of my work revolved around still images with low samples, never animation. The Clank video did get some views, and a lot of crybabies, but I understand. <laughs> I posted this Clank animation to Instagram, and as expected, three likes and a comment from my mom. But then, on one strange, mysterious, dark night, when I was sitting alone in my room playing Minecraft, <laughs> just joking, I was on a bus stuck in traffic. I got a message from this guy named Valden on Instagram. At first, I was like, "Oh, he probably likes my Clank video," as he should. Hence the name Valden. Ratchet's home planet. Anyone? A few messages later, he mentioned my recent space render which looks cool, asked me what it was about. I said to him, look, Valden, you have your music, and I just want to be awesome, awesome in space. space. I told him about my idea of making a space video, something to compete with Interstellar, a nice space montage, something jaw-dropping, a thing I've never done before, and then he offered to compose music for it. Like, wait, what? The idea alone to make a cinematic space journey as a one-man band is pure insanity, and here's this bro just offering to make music for it. I said, sure, can be a fun thing. A few hours later, and he sends an mp3. These first 30 seconds made me rethink the entire project. A slow beginning, an intriguing build-up, and a massive full stop and drop to pure cinematic madness vibe. Martin? What did you just do? I love this. All the shots I've been working on at the time got scrapped. I had to sort over. The song Martin just made set the bar for this project to the highest standard possible. And this was how it all started. Uh, what we said. Hi, Martin here. You may also know me as Valen. And in this segment, I will show you how I single-handedly gave Hans Zimmer a run for his money. Uh, maybe. My main inspiration for this project was the soundtrack for Interstellar. Because, well, obviously, space. Also, all my sounds were oriented around this hollow and cold space vibe. The only real restriction Obi gave me was to incorporate the Windows startup sound. But this part would only be in the end as the spaceship landed. So the main part is pure, awesome space music. The whole project was made in FL Studio and most instruments are Serum because you can basically make every possible sound with it. It all started with this chord progression. On top of that, I put some sounds with this weird old cypher vibe and this really heavy bass line. All of this is supported by some heavy cinematic drums. For the beginning, I basically just added one instrument after the other, building up the tension until the main part hits shortly after an awkward silence. The ending is also pretty interesting because I somehow had to incorporate the Windows sound. So I made another chord progression using the same elements from before. Even though the sounds are the same, the vibe is really different. Kinda mystical in the beginning, but after the first bar I added the Windows sound, which creates some dissonance and a really ominous sound. For some reason Ovi kept ranting about Windows and the ultimate downfall of humanity. Something about a giant robot that will overthrow- We started this short film in a space yard, a near makeshift space yard, as if it's become cheap to launch rockets in the future. 
this opening shot needed to establish that this was going to be a good looking film. Only problem was, I had a Pentium GTX 1050, so I was sort of forced to go all real time on this. Projection mapping, careful lighting, select reflections, this needed to look like it was a Cycles project, without the noise, and grinder in time. One major thing how I hid most of the flaws was to make it look like bad cell phone footage. Some camera shake, motion blur, some blur, and hey, it looks beautifully ugly now. Then we enter the control room. This part was thanks to Tim. He usually does the sound effects on my projects and makes amazing Linux boot sequences. This shot is, again, all real time. Then, lift off. This took me a while, because I wanted to be as close as possible to the source material from SpaceX and NASA footage. But again, I don't have the time and dedication to make a full 20 minute video just to launch the darn thing. So speeding up the time frame from exiting Earth's orbit helped a lot. All I did was fade between the HRIs, shake the camera, add some water droplets sliding down. Heck, the rocket wasn't even moving. The following shots are all standard generic planet shots but in real time. Till we get to the asteroid part. It took me quite a while. It was a pain to figure out how to animate this. Do I make the rocket go through static asteroids so it looks like we're moving, or do I move the asteroids? Or why not both? After self fracturing things and an hour of frustration with hundreds of physics pieces, I finally gave up and settled for a simple particle system and an element composited in After Effects. I should also mention I did the Space VFX course from Glavin80 during this endeavor. It helped a lot, especially designing custom planet textures, but the fun part was mainly adapting the Cycles tutorials into full real-time scenes. Also, the black hole is totally based off from the Glav Alexandrov tutorial, just mine is running real-time and using a cube map in the EV viewport. Now we get to the fun part, entering the atmosphere of a foreign planet. How the hell am I supposed to animate an object entering the atmosphere, passing through volumetric clouds and vast mountainscapes without reaching the max poly count, and not to end up with ridiculous render- Projection mapping. I just photoshopped a super long high-res image, and yeah, that's, that's it. I just added some PNGs of clouds to mask up ugly seams and give the scene some depth and scale. It all runs real time, by the way. Again. And now the heaviest part of the sequence. This took me a month to learn. Doing this smoke simulation took me two days of calculation, and it still looked bad. Manta flow wasn't really a thing back then, but after four days of frustration to get the smoke to do, well, smoke things, I was finally ready to render. Seven days per frame. <laughs> no. I actually rendered the smoke pass at 32 sample 720p max. And then in After Effects, I just blurred it a bit, and it looked perfect. For the landscape shot, this was quite tricky. The landscape here is all geometry, with some volume pockets of moving smoke. I took quite a lot of inspiration from games, especially the Uncharted and Tomb Raider games. Don't know what to do with this mountain? Stick in a cloud. It usually fixes things. And now for Lost Shots. I just wanted to recreate the original Windows XP wallpaper, but make a dumb joke out of it and stick in a giant rocket. Nothing technically amazing or special is happening in this shot, it's just a simple particle system with a stock footage of some clouds playing in the background, and that's pretty much it. By now I've sort of explained how I made this video, but I never explained why. The reason for that was I wanted to prove myself. I wanted to see if I can actually make a decent looking space montage. And I did. But the main reason for this was I just, I just wanted to be awesome, awesome in space. space. Hey, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Uh, if you can let me know what you think of this video in the comments, that would help out a lot. Um, I'm actually thinking of making this a series, like give the videos I made some context and some... Yeah, just explain what they're all about. Um, the next video in this series will probably be upper. Just explain how and why. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the title, how and why I made upper.
and yeah, I'm just going on and on. Okay. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>